Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers, and I'm looking at a book this morning from Informer. It's this book here, by, uh, edited by Professor Ridian Thomas. It's Volume 3 of the Modern Law of Marine Insurance. It's a relatively heavy book. It's just about 550, no, sorry, 450 pages. Starting at the back, you can see the index. At the front, you can see the various biographies of all of the authors involved in this work, table of cases, and then you've got, for instance, the classic structure of the book, which is the paragraph numbering and the footnotes. A lot of detail, and I particularly like the specimen clauses, the international uh, treaties and various other things. You've got international hull clauses there, and then right at the back, You've got um, various other bits and pieces which add to the sum knowledge of it. A nice map there as well. It's a heavy book in all senses of the word, but it's what you expect for the, the, the final ultimate statement, you can't get any better, of what we currently have as our modern marine insurance. There's a review on Flickr written by my wife Elizabeth and myself, and we started the review with a title uh, as a quote taken from uh, Lord Justice Andrew Longmore. Because obviously this book, we say it's because, quote, marine insurance has since the 18th century been the engine which has driven the rest of the English law of insurance. Bound to be the case, we are a maritime uh, nation in, in any event. Now let's have a look. Having said that, with a headline such as the, the above that we've just given, um, obviously Lord Justice Longmore has given a brief forward to this remarkable book, but you scarcely need a headline uh, really from us because the modern law of marine insurance is, as he notes in his conclusion, a book for those practising in all forms of insurance however far removed they are from marine insurance itself, because we are looking at the very basics of a modern generation of what we mean and how we procedurally deal with insurance. That's, of course, notwithstanding Professor Malcolm Clark's comment that a traditional line is drawn between marine insurance, and MAT, and non-marine insurance, with reinsurance as a category close, closely associated in the common law mind with the former. It's an important and valuable perspective for practitioners in insurance law that the traditional line between marine and non-marine insurance is, we would say, artificial and fluid, as the two disciplines, far from being separate, are inextricably linked. So in essence, the book provides an objective and thoroughly contemporary analysis of marine insurance law, together with a comparative analysis, which is certainly enlightening of the law and practice in Europe, Australia and the USA. It's a compilation of the work of a team of world uh, leading academics from top universities as well as specialist practitioners in the field and it just shows what a small global village we actually have today. Talk about a treasure trove between two covers of marine law expertise, that's what it is. Particularly interesting is the chapter by editor uh, Professor Ridian Thomas on the concept and measure of indemnity in marine policies, and as he notes in the preface, no principle is more fundamental and pervasive in marine insurance than the principle of indemnity. Other topics that undergo intensive scrutiny include value policies, insurable interest warranties, fraud, and the lamentably contemporary perils of uh, piracy and terrorism, to cite only a few examples. New developments of particular note are the new institutions cargo clauses 2009 and the associated new war and strikes clauses which came into force on the 1st of January 2009 all very contemporary and very much up to date for the problems I'm afraid we're facing at the moment. This is the third volume of the Modern Law of Marine Insurance series and it also contains a wealth of useful research tools as you'd expect, namely extensive tables of cases as I've indicated and legislation, a detailed index and 90 pages of appendices. So if you're in any way professionally involved in the world of insurance in general, the need to know about marine insurance must be the foundation of your knowledge base. So do rush out and add this invaluable and readable work to um, your reference library. It's still the engine that drives the rest of the English law of insurance. Make no mistake about it. Thank you to Professor Ridian Thomas and Informer and the team 
for what is the ultimate statement. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.